walking perfects with an ill one with me. Fit it to the side on my Brooklyn shit. Y'all rolling. It's your boy Yawa, aka Joel Ortiz. You know who this guy is, right? The plug, your boy. What is he plugging exactly? <laughs> it's your girl Tahiri, <laughs> Jose. Him, him, and her, y'all. Him, yeah. him, and her. I don't understand her, that shit. You know, I, you know, we letting people speak real fast. Him, him, her, her, her. Him, him, and her. Well, it's not that we speak fast. It's just like we are with making everything one word. So it's You're like, right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga in my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So What's yeah, it is him, him, and her. her. And her is her is on her him shit. shit exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. Him, him, and her on her him shit. Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling the swag today. You over there? I see you. Uh, look today. I, I see you. I yeah, me. I see you over there, baby. <laughs> oh, get to money. Today I just came on some I don't give a fuck shit. And I love Push it. Your t shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, where you at? Is Drake coming? Is he ever coming? He's definitely not. Well, shit. He's a, who's not? Drake. Pause. Drake is not what? Come on, here you go, reach it. No, what you say? He's not gonna respond. <laughs> He's not gonna respond. Take, take. After take. Uh, Jay Prince told him not to, of course not. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind, rewind. You have not been hip to the fact that Jay Prince sat and came out. First, he was uh, promoting his book on uh, the Breakfast Club. Okay, that's right. right. He's got yeah. respect. Uh, wait, so he said that I, he I, had I, a conversation with Yeah, Drake. he it's told them. OG said, "Yo, do not respond." Because it was uh, getting to a pig pen mentality. Mm -hmm. Because lines were crossed that shouldn't have been crossed. But on whose side? Though? On uh, Pusha. Well, other sides. side has been crossed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Pusha just kind of the first time when Pusha, uh, what was the the record? Infrared was it? Yeah. Right. And 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 the one little shot that he said, and then came Drake with this whole diarrhea, and the, he just went in, and then Pusha said, "Oh, nigga, hold up." And then went and, and got personal after, of course, Drake uh, talked about his Pusha's wife. He mentioned Beyonce. his wife now. Right. So once you, I think once you hit, like once you hit women and children, that's a low blow. So I think that once Drake did that, then that opened the gates to, right. you want to be disrespectful, then all is fair and love and war. Exactly. Right, but what he just, he just, he had just mentioned his fiance, right? Right, his fiance name. But he did because did my, if, am I, wrong? He, I don't think he disrespected. I think he just he made just it a saying, bar. But he, he made saying, it known, like I know you the closest people to you, and that's right. some street shit. Like, yeah, but he was saying marriage is whack. You want to marry her? Blah yeah, blah blah. But here's the thing. I think that um, oh. I think that what but people still, fail to realize is that uh, the minute some things are untouchable, right? In the street game, at least. So to me, rap is street, which is why some of these artists aren't respected because you rap about something you've never lived, but you have a great imagination. Trust me, I know a couple. Um, but I'm saying that um, I'm saying that when you come from the street and you deal with real shit in life, the one thing that is untouchable is the closest people to you. So those are the people you tend to protect, so they can't have that's ammo. Right. So okay. once Drake said, I don't give a fuck if Drake said your fiance likes you know sushi, no if your fiance likes you know Charlotte Olympias they not red bottoms but Charlotte Olympias are really comfortable and expensive also and really cute shoes it don't matter what the fuck you say about her the minute it's you like say anything that's really close to you that nobody really knows about you're going in true I'm, I'm no I'm enjoying being told about rap oh I forgot I'm saying <laughs> so, because so, you already know what it is so though it is. So, yes. then, so then so now Drake so now Drake gets his uh he gets so his Pusha plate. T responds wildly crazy leaves Amazing. whatever he wants to say on the on the it desk as he should matter. mom and Drake dad doesn't, best friend Drake dad doesn't want to say y'all telling me a Jay Prince conversation is gonna stop it's Drake stopped. from being like nah it stop you Here gotta hit go. you it stopped it because he said that the uh the song was out, but it just wasn't released. He told him not to do it because boundaries gonna be crossed. Somebody gonna fight. Career's gonna end. Especially, it wasn't more so for Pusher. It was more so for Kanye, since uh, Pusher had the, the uh, tea about Drake trying to offer a hundred thousand, but he had more information allegedly. about Kanye allegedly. See, that, and that's why, I per me personally, I just hate when it gets to that level. As an when artist, it, when, to talk no, about when, it. you know, when it gets to the fucking disrespect and not the rap, right? Cause now we not look, we not. I don't know if everybody's even looking for Drake to come back and rap well. They just looking for what's the dirt you got on Pusha. That's and why. That's to but me. here's yeah. the thing. But let's move right along. Yeah, but like bars. But, yeah, but, like, but because again, we're discussing rap, and you are, you know, you 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 you're there. Like you, you're like top fucking. You're with the M's. Like you're doing it right. M a mouth himself, correct? He th he anything that anybody could ever come at him, he did right. 
as, as a rapper in the movie. And, and most rappers do that so you can have nothing. Cardi B just did it. When nobody respected her music, she came out and she says, yes, I fucking stripped. Yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. So anybody that wants to come at me, go ahead. I already said it about myself. So no skeletons. So, so, so what? So, so what if, if things that are your, it, the skeletons in your classes come out I don't, I don't care what the, good rap, good rap, skeletons or no skeletons. This is motherfucking music. Right. And this shit is good. And this shit, as long as it doesn't come into like just guns and, and you know, fights, then we're good. We we'll keep it in the booth. Nah, I agree to a degree. It's not just music when you start bringing in family members and disrespectful things that aren't music. You get what I'm saying? So like, what the fuck are you supposed to rap about? Be what y'all spitting about? What y'all spitting about? Really? Y'all can spit. I mean, push this old drugs. He's spitting about selling drugs. Drake. Had, he's a ill lyricist, right? Um, what is there to rap about? You gotta go in. Just violate the person. So like, what? Not, like the shit that y'all like the, the shit could. I mean, it could have been done, but these niggas already over. Like he, the minute you you started, Drake started with. So let me ask you this: He doesn't say and let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. He, he doesn't, the, the door wasn't open? No, it wasn't. It the wasn't, door it was wasn't open. open. The no, door was open. It was open, but oh, it wasn't no, open. Oh, no, no, he doesn't say that the door wasn't open. It wasn't so open. you would have been expected Pusha T to come back with not nothing disrespectful, you saying? Yeah, but not but to this point. Not to this point. Great. But that's just like when Gene and Locks used to go at it. Not to this point. Not to the point where I'm like... What, what about that? I remember that. that was it was though. bars. They was going at each other. They was. It was hard bars. It right. was, it it was the art of it. That's what I'm saying. They didn't go at first. They yeah, they didn't go. Right. They ain't talking about, you know what I'm saying? She right. had nothing to do with the exactly. war. Exactly. They wasn't clapping the exactly. crowd. They clapped you. They clapped you. That's they what I'm saying. Yeah, like, no bystanders. Things definitely would have been disrespectful, but not to this point. You open the gates to the shit. Especially when, and here's the thing, when... So, so, so wait, wait, wait. When you, when you ain't got, like... Dog, when you got a lot that you got... You don't ever open no gates, man. You got a lot that you hide it. Like, that wasn't a smart move if that's the case. So when, once you talk about something that's real dear and endearing to me and something I protect, um, something I, I am going to fight for, fight like like something is, that's mine, I'm going to defend it. And that's what okay. Pusha did, I believe. So y'all y'all agree with me here, because it's going to lead to my next point, right? Y'all agree that to this point, Drake has been probably the most calculated artist, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. With that said, he responds to Infrared with Dubby. Right. Did he do? Do y'all think he didn't think Pusha T would respond? And do y'all think asking. that Pusha T? Hold on. Do y'all think that he didn't know Pusha T had that? No, I didn't I'm think sure he, he knew Pusha T was privy to certain information. Certain. Right. So me, me knowing that Drake is a calculated, and this team is very, very calculated. I think that he was ready to clap back. Oh, I mean, yeah, listen. he was, but I don't think he knew how strong Pusha was going to come through, though. It's not about being strong. It's about like when you get ready to fight, like you already know what your what your weakness is, right? So I, I'm pretty sure he knows. Damn, what can he? If he had to blow me up, what could he say? He could mention homegirl. And then he was he like, nah. N yeah, nah. But if nah. but you don't think that the most calculated maybe that ain't his baby. Himself, and if he do that though, I'm doing this. Well, maybe. Well, that's why they Jay Prince told him not to put it out. Well, maybe, maybe. And on push it, and, and, and on push it side, like. You don't think that there's, I'm just saying that there's so many. I know it though. It's going to leave. But, but this yeah, is rap. Right. Exactly. You think so? Exactly. You think it's going to leave? I, I, don't, I it's going to have to. I wouldn't want it to leave rap, but we never like did. how many battles have we seen? Do you want to hear Drake? How about that? Y'all want to hear him yes. respond? Yes. I want to hear him respond, but I, I, I don't want it to be I, I, in a way where nobody get killed. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see another big game pop. Oh, I don't think it will go there. But you never know. It's just those people that's just that erotic that are taking it. Nah, only if you was a bitch ass. Ninja, only if you can't, like, if you could push it, but you can't, like, what? Like, come on, dog. Like, you out here, you doing the dirt. If you are, if you're not allegedly, whatever happened, happened. If you got the baby, it's your baby. Who the fuck gives a fuck, though? Like, you right. can do whatever you want. You're aside one. aside from being a fucking uh, artist and being one, like, the hottest dude out there, like, you, if that's your baby, that's your baby. Own it. Now, if this is what it's led to and you come back with something, come back with it. It's all about the music. Like, I don't feel that, I don't think it should ever get out of. But it's some time to do. But that the segue into uh, Little Uzi Vert and Rich Kid. Okay, and then, then oh. that's it. Okay, so you're right. So, but, but come on, dog. Like, 
it's just a different generation too. Like we're talking about the push so and the race and the so Uzis and the so motherfucking. So Drake, Drake push your teeth makes you nervous. I don't not. And that little Uzi and Rich the Kid is like man. No, I'm just saying this is how it. That's what he's saying. I'm wondering how y'all feel. Like, like, I feel like, those little kids just being childish right now. Now that can get out of Wait, pocket. But they're going to get out of pocket they because can. they got to prove it. These are the kids that are shooting each other these days, at this Fact. age. So now with with uh, Drake and Pusher, at least they'd be adult enough to talk it out, We're squash hoping. it, hoping. <laughs> hope I don't so. think any of one of them are firing weapons. Right. It would, that would I be. I need some music. Insane. That should have hip hop. I was so excited. The last it was. the last dude that did that to me was Kendrick, and he always does that to me. But I'm like, did that home. I'm looking at Twitter. I'm looking at Instagram. I can't sleep. I'm like, who's coming next? Where's me? Where's Drake? Like, let's go. Like, like J Cole's. Like, this is the shit that like makes. Hip hop amazing. Right. Now let's talk about the Uzis and the rich kid. Uh huh. And them beefing at Starbucks. <laughs> and and well, for, well, Lil Uzi ran down, right? Yeah, because yeah. he because 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 Dolo though, right? It looked like he <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He had a team with him. They All right. Yeah, they had a team with him. Like little Uzi team was stronger. Rich kid hopped behind the counter and got out the way. He wanted a latte. Yeah. But they wasn't trying to jump him. It didn't look like it looked like. The man was doing sixty down South Street. Who? On foot. Yeah, on foot. And then he said, yeah, and then he was on camera like he was unbothered. Rich from here, right? Is he? He in New York, right? He from uptown. He from New York. Oh shit. That's gonna shit on us. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. The rich the Wait, kid. what's their beef about? Sorry, Terry. They've been beefing forever. They've been like, well, but he's been going at, at Uzi for a minute though. Okay. And then Uzi ain't been saying shit and just rolled up on dude and was like, ah, right, you want to play? Was hood. And then he jit it. Yeah. And Uzi's from Philly, right? Who cares? I'm trying to get a grasp on the culture. <laughs> God, I'm trying to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. I'm sorry. Right. No, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sexy, but just kind of cool. Getting back to Uzi and Rich. So he ran down and son took off. Yeah, down South Street, throwing sixty. Oh. And then got on, and then on got, get, then got on social media like was like, violent, man. no, and then they got, like they got on social media. But then you gotta know who you dealing with. Also, it's like you say, prepping. If you know this motherfucker ready to go get crazy, and that's his what he do. Why would you pick a battle with him? You think he's not going to do it because it's only rap that he's speaking about? Yo, a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, a lot of these uh, new generation, new wave rappers, it's just they picking an opponent. Right. Like it's not. You know what I mean? Like they're they they got their wave, and then their wave is against another wave. No, like that's how that, they. You think that's how? I think that's how it's always been. That's like when you get arrested or when you somewhere and like the hottest. When you part of a gang, you want to take down the nigga who's the hottest. No matter what wave you in, what generation, because that's gonna prove it's like giving you a strike in the streets. So let's not act like this is the first time that this is happening because we're a little older than new rappers. Like this has been happening for ages. Y'all go against each other. Y'all rap. It's just that it's getting out of hand now because the newer generation doesn't know how to put. There's a limit. There's boundaries to this shit. Right. Like they don't have any respect for the older generation, the people that paved the way for you. But this shit has been happening forever. Everybody always wants to attack who's hot right now. Yes. If you ain't hot, listen, you only gonna get the hey, you know when you made it? When there's rumors about you, when you gay, you die, you sick. You know what I'm saying? When you the hottest rapper, niggas wanna come and punch you in your face. It's never the whack nigga that gets beef. Shit, I must have made it. I got a thousand rumors about me. I've never seen you know heard you know, nothing about I think we, we done reached the ever where the hottest rappers is, is bullies. See, before it used to be like, I, I'll defend myself if somebody come at me, but right. now, now it's like, I'm on fire and I'm gonna torch you. Or I'm gonna try like it's like you know, I'm on fire and you ain't really nobody, but I still will come at you. And I disagree. I think that we're in an era where um, nobody cares about your music. The crazy, most outlandish shit you do gets you the most attention. All of a sudden, you're selling records, and your music might be the shit, but because you're so fucking like you're so twisted in the mentality of the microwaves, you want the hit right now, you want the celebrity right now, you want to be popping right now, that you'll sell your soul to the devil to get the recognition and forget that you actually are talented. So you might lose your life beefing and gaining this attention and beefing with everybody around you instead of paying attention to the fact that you got a hit record. Because, well, see, because years ago, we wanted to actually be, I say we, because I come from a class where you try to be the best at your craft right. mm -hmm. and respect it. That's what you wanted. Mm -hmm. Now it's a game of popularity. Like, it's just about how many eyes can I get on me? Like, if I have more likes, mm -hmm. views, 
you know, yeah. followers and shit like that, that is equated to success. Because now mm -hmm. you don't even need to build an artist. There's no um, A and R team. Right. You know, there's no even even as even in what I do or even in what I did back then for a living. Even when you go and apply for a job, how many followers do you have? Because no longer do you need a promoter. You are your own promoter. Right. So they don't have to build an artist. You are. I am a moving. I'm, I am a. I am a. Uh, a movie ticket so i might get that movie role before that actual artist or, or actor who's been like who was born to act and who went to school for it and i am a great actor but i have sales with me because my numbers can show you now we have analytics so now these artists they run around and they're like all right well you know what you're iconic great yeah i don't even know who you are because i'm iconic and you're like no nah, nigga, you didn't even work half like how what makes you iconic because you got a hit record one right i see you tick tick but they don't know that yet. Y'all see who sticks around and who doesn't. Well, His it. social media fucking tomorrow crashed. A lot oh, of y'all bitches, bitches with big asses to be done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm sorry, I took it elsewhere. A lot of people to be devastated. I was definitely verified before the blue check. You feel me? <laughs> big dog and I got a dab on that yes. one. I don't have no blue check, but you know what I mean? It's definitely all good. Was verified it's all before. good, baby. Yeah, yeah, me, but, um, I, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, the bottom line is being great is forever. Right. That's what really matters. The, being... the, the real will prevail. And New York City Hotel shots is fired. Just like that. From fucking rap to the streets. So because it, it people is talking possible. to fucking right. Exactly. But it's always a it's always Takashi the same. Takashi is in a lot Takashi, of shit, right? Yeah, yeah it's always Takashi. Takashi. So I like Takashi's music. Shout out to Takashi. I like Takashi's music music. I like Takashi. That's a whole lot, Takashi. Uh -huh. Um I like Takashi's music. I liked it before he was even getting that rowdy in the streets. And then I saw him get rowdy and he, I was like, he's misunderstood. And I kind of like his vibe. Then I met him and he's so fucking cool. I That's just think I this is him. like, he's so fucking dope. I really like him. And even when people were like talking down at him, I was like, that is the, that, I, I fuck with him. However, it can get a little crazy because you're doing a lot and there's going to be that one person who might not really give a fuck. But see, for him, he need to chill because every time his name is mentioned in the beef, is always shot. So you're becoming fired. a liability. So motherfuckers ain't gonna to work with you. That, that the thing is, don't fuck the bag up. Right. Like, not even if you're not fucking a bag up, you gotta make sure that you surround yourself with people who won't fuck your bag up either. Exactly. That's what that's what happens. Like when you start doing, you know, when y'all roll in a certain way and then they roll in a certain way, it don't never really be. It just be. Now here go the tough guy shit. Everybody wanna be a gangster. Everybody wanna be a blood. And then when Takashi got the the colorful hair, he gotta prove himself. Niggas take him as a joke. So now it's gonna keep escalate to a, a level where it shouldn't have to. I like I like Takashi. And I really like his music, and I'm telling you, his vibe is super dope. And I've said that months ago. Um, I am concerned. Uh, I would hate to like hear that something happened. Um, but how do you turn it down from that from this now? Because now Takachi, you like you you rah rah, right? How do you turn it down? Uh, let me tell you something. A lot of my rapper friends, artists that rap about that shit. Whether they live it or they don't live it, every time they step out, t depending on the city though, they get tested because you rap about shit. Right. There's some niggas that really live it. Not saying that the rappers don't live it or that Takashi doesn't live it. I'm saying that you will get tested. So how do you turn down Joel? How do you go from Takashi is, and, and that is winning for him. The act, whatever it is, the antics or, or or the attention or, you know, he's getting the hits and he's getting the following and people look up to like, people don't look up to it, but people just stay tuned. How do you go from doing that and Takashi now saying, you know what? Boom. Let me turn this down a notch and actually focus on my music and not want to die in these streets. Because that can happen. It's too late for that for him. That's a, Is I, it too late? That's a, I mean, that's a question for him. you got to answer. He in so, too deep. He already who traveled. Knows if he even wanna, who knows if he would even want to stop doing that? Like, you know what I mean? If that's who he is, then that's who he is. You believe that's who Takashi is? No. I don't know him. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think, know. I don't really know him, know him, but he's just he, a character. I don't know. But he I don't. Mean, but yeah, but be a I'm, I've learned shit, to fucking, never fucking prejudge a situation. Right. right. So I don't know. That little dude might be all the way about it. His man's might be all the way about it. Might not. But I don't know him. But it's so I'll respect what he's doing. But it's a do difference. It. Do what you, what you just do. Said, though. But I'm sure they know what come along with that. So that's so. So we're going from we're going from from. Drake to Pusha T, which is why they're saying Drake, shut the fuck up and just let it go because it can get into that. To Uzi and Rich the Kid, where um, Rich has been uh, on on Uzi, you know, just going in, and then Uzi finally stepped up and said, "Nigga, stop playing," and then wore a harness and on stage and was like, 
Love that kid. <laughs> then goes from that to now actually Takashi and Chief. Right. And now shots are being fired. So that right. hip hop can get get there. And I just, just don't because know why I can't, I can't leave it in, in, in the booth. I mean, I'm all for competitiveness, right? I'm all, all right. for like, yo, yo, I, I rep this, you rep this, I, yo, you can't fuck with me. I'm all for that shit. But the minute it, it gotta stay in the booth for me. Right. Y'all all, we all come from a lot of this, a lot of similar backgrounds and upbringings, right. and music. Save niggas. Right. So why you want like, to do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, yo, bro, like, damn, son, like, spend some, spend a little more energy, but, yeah, you know, the thing though. doing we, the we right do need, thing. We do need guys to preach the gospel, like, speak, the street gospel is necessary. Like, yeah. I need you to go in. I need you to talk that gangster shit. I need you, I love the Yeezys. I love, I love the Jeezy. I love the, I love the, the Little Wayne's. I love the 50s. I don't want nobody like, to die. I love that Tupac, is, yeah, the Biggies. I go to the gym and I punch a bag for it, but, I y'all get me hyped. I might smack a bitch on the block. I'm joking. That was old to Harry. I'm just saying, like, I enjoy that I appreciate it. And sometimes these these people get bigger and better, and then now their hunger becomes different. So they rap about lavish and different lifestyles. We get it. It's all about what you've lived and how you're living. You know what, Tudo? Not to cut you off. I don't want it to get out of the We in a real We are living in an unfiltered world now. Mm. You gotta understand, like. Half of the half of the music, celebrities, uh, popular people that we get, they would have never see. ever had an outlet if because you had to be right. valid first. You had to somebody had to co-sign anything before the world even got you. They, nobody gave a fuck. There was no I, about that. You know, coming up, it was the biggest thing for a musician was like, I need a deal. Mm -hmm. Because that was the only way anybody would know who the fuck you are and what you do. Absolutely. So we gotta, you gotta look through a lot of noise to get to some some stuff, some good stuff sometimes. <clears throat> and unfortunately, like the noise is what's is louder than a lot what? of this, you know what I'm saying. So like when you look, when you nobody wants to scroll through. It's crazy because we got to a point where like. You wake up in the morning, you hit the gram or you hit Twitter or whatever, you kind of looking for fucked up shit. Right. Or I, real talk, like, you're not looking through for, I'm like, not, not. today's horoscope. I, no, I like yeah, looking I for shit for last. No, nah, here's the thing, though. I realize that now you don't even need the paper or to watch the news when you come in at six at 3 p.m. No si quiero. Telemundo, right? <laughs> like your mom telemundo. is hitting you with, like, you... They got bad you fucking Spanish so But fuckery goes anyway, viral all day. Okay? Now, Great. you don't even oh, need... That's the easiest to go viral. Negatively spread. Fast you even got... Too. You even got... Y'all don't be see, Y'all don't be feeling the way when you see, like, not funny people trying to be funny. Yeah. But it's, it's like, for them damn! Because they exploit something that they don't have. Yeah. So they might have a default in their face where they look wild crazy. Like the dude that... Uh, the one that, like, uh... I got the bitches. Um, mm -hmm. Damn, what's this nigga's name? But he just, he, his face is fucked up. Like, I ain't going, like, I just don't, I'm not going to the club no more, man. There's trouble in there. I don't like the club no more, man. How we go from the club social media? Cause, you didn't even gotta go to the club. That's the club. You are, oh, Amazon for bitches. That's the club. I ain't social going to the club no more. That's like that. Amazon, is Amazon. Right. You see how Amazon, you can get everything. You don't even have to leave your house. You go on Amazon, you get everything. IG is Amazon for your niggas. It's crazy. How y'all remain faithful in a phone full of hoes? Phone full of hoes? I mean, you got social media, you got like any app. Oh shit. It's hard to be in a relationship right now. No, it's not. Being in a relationship is never, ever, 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 ever hard if you dead ass. If you dead serious, like, I, I can't explain that. it, man. Like, I ain't got everybody, know, yo, you know how many times people keep it real with, with their significant other in a, in, in a lifetime? Probably like once. Why? I've been keeping Probably it. Probably like once. And then you get it, you get hurt, and then everybody's like 90% in. Yeah, you're right. And now the real is in trouble. It Cleveland is. is in trouble. <laughs> Let's go into LeBron that. James is the and, real, and he's in trouble, bro. Wait, and do you think he that. Um, because of your man. And I was gonna say, because yeah, I can't B. help it that I'm- Your man. Who is your, your man? man's you know what I mean? But, your man's and who is to say, and I'm asking you guys, cause you guys, you know, I am the female over here, the pit bull in uh, Paradise. Call me Peggy Bundy in this game. But who is to say, do you guys think that JR fucked up the rhythm of the Cavs? It was, it was rhythm? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, because, I mean, LeBron, wait, LeBron, well, the LeBron cat, because <laughs> LeBron has been holding the team down. I don't know what happened. Well, maybe he I do know it. what happened Absolutely. between last season and this season, but LeBron's been holding them down. Now, your man JR must have uh, um, not known the score or whatever it is that he claimed that happened. Do you think that that messed it up for the following game? Absolutely. How? The, the momentum shit. He, I don't think it falls so, me personally, I don't think right. it falls solely on J.R. Smith. I agree. I've been on stage before and, perfor- and performed the song I performed 50 times. And, forgot and for, some, some, for some reason, the second verse slipped at me. I, you would never know, because I'm like, hey, hold up. They're not ready. Because I'm a pro, I'm a <laughs> I'm a make sure y'all know. But I'm like, God damn it, Joe, how the fuck you forgot this shit in right, my head? Right. Yeah. JR had one of those moments. Now. Wrong time, JR. No, no, this is what I'm saying. Like, Definitely wrong time. He can't afford it. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't been playing great. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, this dude has been doing so much. It doesn't look. Notice what we're talking about. We're not, none of us are saying, yo, did JR Smith blow the game for the Cavs? That's not what we're saying. Right. That they, that we said that he's he blowing for fucking LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. I'm so loud. Think about that. That's yeah, like, you know how much shit. this guy's doing. Yo, LeBron had his head down, son, like a disappointed. Yo, because he's been working his. Oh. He, I don't, I he dropped 51, man. So I know his and people say that's not mess. enough, he should have dropped 53. Come on, you got to give this man a break. I know and, his wife ain't been getting none. You know how that feels? You know, you sit around and you look at this women, oh, they living the life. They got their lives. When LeBron fucks up, she fucks up. When LeBron fucks up, fuck that Chanel bag. When LeBron fucks up, everybody mad. When LeBron fucks up, you know how hard it is to be that woman by him? No. Shit. You just took it to another level. Okay, I'm just saying. Because yeah. I'm just saying, LeBron comes home, and I don't care. He's dropped 51. He's been carrying this team. When he gets home, he can't even move. And then JR's going to fuck up the momentum. For Off him. topic, but he still on topic. Tristan looked like he would have fucked Draymond Green up. I'm keeping it a buck out here. Yeah, there was so much that happened. Like that, that little, the ball was yeah, like, and then the, the look. Nigga, yeah, and it was like, you know, he pointed, that was the parking lot. Right. <laughs> that was, like when he pointed, the I was like, you know where we can yeah, go. Yeah, 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 exactly. And yo, Dre, I, I respect Draymond because he got a lot of heart. He's a dog on that team. But for a moment, I was just like, all right, Tristan. Tristan had to, Tristan had to go and I know he, he looked like your son. He's yeah. yeah. he been doing yeah. so much bitch shit that he had to act oh, He sorry. had to act out. <laughs> Um, I just want them to work out. But seriously speaking, definitely Draymond. Like, there was a lot of heat in the court. Like huh? I feel bad. Over. I'm mad. No, I, I, Wait, is it over? It's over. It's over. It's completely over. over. It's it's definitely, over. It's they're not winning tomorrow. There's nothing he can do? Ever. Uh, listen to me. We already said they were, what, five, we said? What? Game, you said five games? You said five games? Game? Yeah. Yeah. So five, he might yeah. get one? He might nah, get one. No, he's not getting one. They're going to get swept. They're getting swept. Kanye got diagnosed with this shit. Oh, he's at 39. Yeah. He said at 39, he's 40 now. He got diagnosed with a mental illness. He's a superhero. Right. I think it's commendable for him. What? Bad these days. I think. No, no it ain't. No, a what? lot of people are using this now to, 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 to take it to levels that it shouldn't be. Like it's being exploited in ways that what, it shouldn't mental? be. Mental illness because it's really real shit going out here. People, I, with people. And that's and I'm, I'm not saying I I don't agree. I'm not actually. Uh, uh, I'm not saying I don't agree with you. I think that um. The fact that Kanye stepped up and said, hey, I got diagnosed with this a year ago. The way he's been acting has been sporadic. I don't think that um, he's using it for anything. No, not him necessarily. Oh, in general, in general I, I've never heard anybody say, hey, I'm sick, but fuck it, after they disappear. Like, I know people that are like, oh, I need to take a break. I'm taking a vacation because I need mental, mental uh, uh problems. That's like niggas that get yeah. caught cheating and they go fucking a fucking sex, re- what is it? The sex rehab. rehab for like, they have, uh, what's the, when you like love sex when you can't get enough of it, what is it? That white liver shit. Raw, raw, not a nympho, but when you have a uh, sex addict, sex addict, sex addict. No, nigga, you just a fucking cheater, dog. Like you gotta get your ass beat. You gotta get left a couple times. Niggas gotta take half of your shit or more than that. Half of all your wives gotta go with you, and then you'll learn your lesson. There's no fucking. Wait, you where I come from? There's no fucking. Y'all saying Kanye was just no? I'm just saying oh, no, that. No, we talking he's saying, about to get back to Kanye. He's saying oh. that. He's saying that people use things. As an excuse, I said some people do like things like of the other nature. So y'all don't think that Kanye? Has I think a Kanye has story? some issues. Yes, no. I, I think do. Kanye is just this is the way he expresses himself, and now that he got this ill, the diagnosed with this illness, it's okay now. It's but I always, okay. I always accepted it for when he did it without having a mental illness because I appreciate it. The you raw appreciate is, his honesty. Exactly. 
and raw approach to shit. Exactly. I, I think that um, I'm not judging. Uh, you know, I'm sure that even Kanye didn't know what the fuck was happening half the time when he was going through what he was going through. Um, but maybe he did. I don't know. That's just that's mental illness. It's something that should be taken serious. Uh, and I don't know. I think a lot of people live like Kanye. It's just that Kanye has a voice, so we are privy to it, like we see it, but the shit is to be taken serious. It's not okay. But when you listen to his music and the shit he says, it's like, what, it's about, right? what like, the fuck? Like, that's this why we even talk about Kanye, right? Because of, because of how great of a, a artist he right. is. Right? It's all right. about the music. Right. So the, the reason we care about his voice is because of what he's proven to us in music, right? Absolutely. And don't you guys agree? As that long as they don't start affecting the music, I'm cool with whatever he wants to talk no, about. No, I mean that I, I agree with that at, to some point, but because as an artist, as a as a person that people look up to, yeah, you I'm have sure. a responsibility. And guess what? Even though I, it's, even though sometimes that shit weighs heavy on people, you. You've taken that, like you sat, you took that, that you made that vow, like this is what you want to do. It comes with the gift and the curse. Therefore, you shall kind of like you have to take that into consideration, dog. Like you can't say it's all about the music. Fuck what Kanye says, as long as the music is good. No, you have kids looking up to you. You know, it's like when you're part of an NBA team, you belong to a franchise, you have responsibilities. When you have a job, you have to be there from nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you get fired. Things come with the territory. So right. it's just not, okay, Kanye gives us good music. All right, fuck it. That is not to be fucked. And the fact that he has a mental illness or he came up and said, okay, I have mental illness, means that it's okay. It's not okay to have the time when people do wrong, no matter what situation. Right. Oh, well, I was really speaking about me. Like, I don't give a, I don't know Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just respect him, his music. That's all the only relationship I have with him. So like, if you want to talk, you could say what you want to say. Like, all right, cool, I'll tune in because I fuck with your music. What'd you say? Hmm, I agree or disagree. I don't really give a fuck. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, said what you said about the, yo man, slavery's a choice. That's how you feel? I have my way to feel about what you feel. And that's it. I respect that you say what you say. That's it. Put it, number, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect you. Put motherfucking number four back on. <laughs> I will tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that's... But, but don't you agree life. that... I get what you're talented people but have if you, issues. If you fucking start, let me tell you something. If you start worrying about what people are gonna think about what you say, create, yeah. and do it, then you just it's just chipping away at your artistry. You know what I'm saying? It starts taking from you. Like Talk there, that shit. No, I'm just being honest. If you start like if I was in a if I if the beat came on, right? And I started writing, writing. I'm like, Ooh, nah, 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 I can't say that. can't talk about fucking these hoes. I can't say that because he ain't going like that. Or she, boy. But then I fucked the whole fucking rhyme up. So now here's the thing. We don't care. We, we're not even discussing with Kanye. The issue with people is not Kanye's artistry or Kanye's, uh, uh, you know, the fact that he's a fucking genius. We're discussing everything he said off tracks. But all of that shit is what ends up in tracks. Nine times out of ten for him. He touched on that shit. On the album. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that yeah, everybody. Yeah, hey, hey, what they get? Right on that shit. I believe that, I believe that um, <laughs> which is why a lot of people are mad and not supporting anything, and we're wearing it to you. Yeah, but, I um, to the death. but, which is, but, which is what means. I know what you're saying, though, Terry. Yeah. Like, be fucking mindful oh, well, that you're a fucking inspiration. At times, me. at least. Because, like, yes. I mean, we're all, because, yes. I mean, don't, yes. don't get me wrong, because we're all human. We're going to make mistakes. And yes. unfortunately, when you're famous, unfortunately, you know, you there's no longer page six where people read what you wore and read what yeah, you, you know, yeah. people read what you thought. Right, people right. read what they thought right. they saw. Now people are seeing it as we're going. So, right. you know, we are kind of like in a world where we're forced to live and make our mistakes in front of you guys, but at least be a little bit more, like, conscious about it. Should right. I make mistakes every fucking day? Stay right. tuned. But the, but at, at 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 what point are you asking somebody to not be themselves? That's the line, right? Right. And then, I, you know what I'm saying? What, it's that's like, where they ask him yeah. not to be, and that's why I appreciate it when right. he say he wasn't. I feel diagnosed. like any great, if you're a great, you're totally out of your fucking line. I agree. Like and let me tell great. you something. Let me tell you something. And we like, don't know how to fuck shit. A lot of a, a, a lot of a lot of people that you know, get to a certain stature and a certain level, they, they not all the way honest all the time. I know. You, you know what I'm saying? All day? They, they do, they, 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 they apply the shit you're saying, like with everything, like, nah, I can't really, 
I got to do it this way. You start feeling suffocated. I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, now they climb because they've been safe and safe and safe and, and safe. Here comes and the then when show. the lights go off, they be like, pass the cocaine. <laughs> Let's get to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd much rather be fucking super honest and still be, you know what I mean? The, you know, the man flew everybody else to Wyoming and shit because he felt like that. Fuck it. Like, that's fire to me. Why was like, I not? Like, I'm just saying, like, he just wanted to Wyoming. do that. Like, who the fuck is Wyoming now? I'm mad. And it's crazy how everybody and was so. Yo, he's really? fucking. Yo, he's wilding. That's yo, I ain't with it. That's what fits Kanye. Look, that's the shit that listen, I love listen, about him. Listen, listen. Yo, I don't fuck with that dude no more. Yo, you heard what that dude said? Yo, he said, say for 400 years. He's fucking. Yo, so happened on Tuesday. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Niggas <laughs> <He> was like. Niggas <laughs> 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 like, that's it. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> 